Welcome all. This is a very good problem in rotational mechanics and uh, it is also complex. But I will try to show you how by choosing a non-inertial frame, you can simplify this problem to a great extent. So let us approach this problem. The question says that there is a uniform rod of mass m and length l and it is suspended by two equal strings AP and AQ which are fixed at point A in the ceiling. The rod is at rest in the horizontal position and each string makes angle theta with the horizontal as shown. You can see. So this is the rod having mass m, length l and the angles are theta. And if the string AQ is cut suddenly, this string is cut, you have to find the tension T developed in the other string. So let us see how we can approach the problem. So this is the question. Here you can say that uh, what, what can you say about the motion of the rod as the string is cut. Let us cut the string something like this. Now you see how will the motion be? This point we know it is fixed and the length of this string is fixed. That means one thing we can be sure of that the point of intersection will be moving along an arc of this circle centered at O. This will be the trajectory of P just after the string is cut. And what will the motion of rod be? Rod will be simply rotating about this point P, isn't it? It will be rotating. So you see how complex the motion is. The point P is rotating along this circle and the rod itself is rotating about P. So how to approach this question? What we will do? Let us say the acceleration of P just after the string is cut is something like this and its value is A. So you can definitely say that this angle will be 90 degree because acceleration has to be perpendicular to the string only. So this is the acceleration of point P just after the string is cut and what we will do? We will sit on this point. That means we will change our frame of reference to the point P and we will analyze the motion with reference to point P only. So we can see that P is itself an accelerated frame of reference having A. So what we will have to do? We will have to apply a pseudo force on the center of the rod in the backward direction FP. Its value will be what? M times A. So let us draw the figure in the frame of reference of P. It will be something like this. As we have chosen P as the frame of reference, so we can fix it as a hinge. This is the point P. And we will apply the pseudo force like this. This is the pseudo force which is MA and other force is what? Gravity of the rod, I mean MG, its weight. And what is the angle? This angle you can see it will be theta only because you see this angle is theta. So this angle is pi by 2 minus theta. So this angle is pi by 2 minus theta and this angle will be theta. Now with reference to point P, we know rod will be undergoing pure rotation only and let us say its angular acceleration is alpha about P. Now we will write the equation of angular acceleration. What will it be? It will be simply mg minus ma cos theta ma cos theta times L by 2. This is tau is equal to I alpha. I will be what? ML square upon 3 because it is about rotating about point P times alpha. If you solve it, then you get what? mg minus ma cos theta, mg minus ma cos theta will be what? It will be 2 by 3 ml alpha, 2 by 3 ml alpha. Mark this as equation 1. Okay, very important equation we've got. Now, wh what you can say about the, let us say the center is O and this point is P. What can you say about the acceleration of O with respect to P? Definitely it will be downward only. And what will be the magnitude? R alpha that is L by 2 alpha. So we can very well say that acceleration of O with respect to P is L by 2 alpha downwards. Okay. Now what can you say about the acceleration of point P? AP. AP is nothing but A in this direction. So draw it. Draw it something like this. This is AP having magnitude A and direction like this. Now relative acceleration formula we know what? AOP is what? 
it is nothing but a o minus a p that means a o is what a o is sum of these two a o p plus a p so let us draw it in vector form this is a o p isn't it you see l by 2 alpha vertical so this is l by 2 alpha and we have to this is a o p we have to add a p to this add this a let us draw this a this is a so sum of these two will be acceleration of the center o in the ground frame so in the ground frame this is the acceleration of center of rod a o okay now here again you can say see that this angle will be theta only you can very, I mean, easily you can say over here because the theta, pi by 2 minus theta. So, if you take a vertical, then this angle will be theta only. So, same here, theta. Now, if I break this acceleration of CM in horizontal and vertical direction, what you will get? AOV, let us call AOV, that is the vertically downward component of CM acceleration will be what? L by 2 alpha, L by 2 alpha plus vertical component of a that is a cos theta a cos theta note it as equation a now what can you say about the horizontal component of a o this one this will be simply horizontal component of this so a let us call it a o h this will be what a sin theta isn't it a sin theta this is equation b so we got three equation one a and b now let us come back to the ground frame and simply apply the newton's law on the rod let us say this is the rod this is the tension just after this other string is cut and this is its own weight mg now we will not apply pseudo force because now we are observing from the ground frame which is inertial and we know acceleration of cm is what ao in the ground frame so now you simply apply Newton's law in horizontal and vertical direction. Let us apply in the vertical direction first. What it will be? It will be mg minus, this, is ang this angle is theta. mg minus t sin theta is what? m times aov, isn't it? aov and t in horizontal direction if you apply, you get what? t cos theta is m times a o h you see a o v and a o h you have already here so put it over here what you get you get m g minus t sin theta is what m times a o v that is l by 2 alpha l by 2 alpha plus a cos theta and here you get what t cos theta is what m times a sin theta m a sin theta now in this equation you put l alpha value from here you see l alpha is in terms of a so if you put here l alpha in terms of a you get this whole equation in terms of a and what you get the equation is simply let me write it directly the equation is m g minus 4 m a cos theta equation is or let me write the other way what you get you get mg minus 4t sin theta is what ma cos theta so you got two equation this one a and this one b now you simply divide a upon b so what you get over here tan theta tan theta is equal to this one t cos theta upon mg minus 4t sin theta you see you got t very easily now if you further solve it then definitely very easily you will get what t is equal to mg sin theta upon 1 plus 3 sin square theta 1 plus 3 sin square theta this is the answer of this question so i hope you got the concept and if you have any doubts, any queries, please feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you.